Felicity from Get Your Rock Up, and I'm talking to Gomez from Messenger. How are you doing today? I'm doing really well, thank you. How are you? Fantastic. I'm also very well, thank you. I think I'm slowly recovering uh, from the weekend, but <laughs> um, yeah, I've always taken a while. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you guys, I mean, you had quite a difficult Sonny's Fair this weekend. Um, and so what, what happened with the fair? Uh, well, basically, we, uh, we had a power cut um, the second we got on stage. It's really oh, unfortunate no. because um, we had a we had a kind of street team helping us out, um, giving out 2,000 flyers and 500 promo CDs, oh. um, inviting everyone to come to our show on Friday at the original oh. slot. And when we got on stage, it was it was pretty busy and we were pretty happy. And literally, uh, I, uh, I counted four on the drums and. Um, I played one bar and the and the sound was gone completely. Oh, um, no. Yeah. Then it came back on again and I counted four. I played one bar and the sound is gone again. And then no. the the staff of the venue they were really nice. They were really trying to sort out the problem, but they couldn't work it out. So um, people started walking away and we decided, okay, let's just not play this because. It's not looking like it's going to happen, unfortunately. So we got rescheduled for the Saturday, but of course we didn't have as many people um, as we originally did because Slayer were playing, and you oh, know, yeah. and people were expecting to see. Uh, I think a lot of people didn't find out that we were being rescheduled for Saturday. So, all right, oh, what a shame. But you know, we still, apart from all that, you know, I think we we played a, a very good show. Uh, we were all very, very happy. Um, the, uh, I thought we played really great. It just felt great on stage. I don't know uh, what the people that were there thought. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, we had a nice response from the people that were there, and you know, the people at Kilimanjaro were really helpful in understanding the organizers of the festival and. They were very apologetic and very cool about the whole thing. So that was really nice of them, you know. Oh, fantastic. Well, no, I mean, it's really, really good that they, they looked after you. And I guess yes, these things, you know, these things just um, just happen from time to time. And it's, but it's so, so painful when it happens to you. <laughs> sure. But, no, I mean, hopefully, um, hopefully it'll still still lead on to good things. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty sure it will, you know. Fantastic! I'm really glad. Um, and you've been in the studio recently, I do believe. We've gone sorry to. Uh, you, oh, sorry. Um, you've been in the studio recently, um, I do believe. Uh well, I I'm a record producer, so I'm in my studio all the time. Uh, oh, I saw, I got very excited. I thought that I thought the messenger were in the process of recording. <laughs> no, 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 because uh, Illusory Blues or, or debut album came out this spring, so we're still. Um, a bit, a bit far away from the next one, but <laughs> uh, but we're actually we're actually thinking about um, started writing very soon, and there are there are a few a few ideas knocking about, and I'm oh, sure fantastic. sooner rather than later will. I mean, I, I personally want to release a, a record next year. Um, oh wow! Oh brilliant! So you are looking still at a quick release schedule? Yeah, I kind of uh, I really like the idea of you know doing it like some bands that I really like did it in the 70s where they just put records out like every year or sometimes even less than a year but unfortunately because well I'm I'm, I'm personally very busy with my with my studio and my work yeah. as a producer so I work with lots of other bands and uh it's kind of mainly me that struggles struggles for time a little bit but um yeah but I'm sure I'll make yeah. the time I know that. I mean, that would be that would be absolutely fantastic because um, the response that you've had to Illusory Blues has just been amazing. Um, I mean, everything I've seen, kind of review wise, people are really, really positive, and it seems to have created um, created a lot of interest around it. Um, are you happy with the amount, uh, the, the kind of response that you've had to it so far? Yeah, I mean, like uh, we we're all over the moon, really. Um... We had a very very positive response um, uh, from the from the media, which is you know it's just great. Like everyone seems to like the record. Well, not everyone, but you know most most magazines and stuff. Yeah. Everyone, like the, the press really likes it, and and people in general really likes it. And when we uh, 
went on tour with Catatonia in May, um, we had a wonderful response from everyone. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, no, we're we're very happy and very excited uh, about the whole thing. So, we just have to keep it, you know, keep going. And, <laughs> but yeah, Definitely. we're super happy, obviously. Definitely, and I think playing Sonosphere, uh, kind of playing Sonosphere in such. Um, already it, it's just fantastic and that obviously a lot of people seem to be really really getting behind the band yeah it seems since that people are very interested and i know i'm sorry i forgot to mention about the sunny sphere thing as well is that um uh our singer Khaled, he um he also had like really bad dengue fever in thailand like he was hospitalized oh. um like uh he just got by like he got back from hospital in Thailand like a week before uh, the show and he was feeling really weak because he's been in super strong antibiotics and stuff so I just wanted to mention that because he was he was a real kind of trooper that day and you know he was really making a a super effort to to be there and so that was that was pretty cool I mean we had a lot of difficulties you know but I was really proud of of Khaled to you know see what he did you know no, I mean that's absolutely incredible. Um, and sorry, yeah, back to your just question. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we were against the odds, but you know we made it. Um, and uh, yeah, we there's yeah, there seems to be a lot of interest. You know, we we're already working. Um, we got a publishing deal with Andy Farrow, uh, Northern Music. Uh, he works with bands like Anathema and Opeth and uh, Devin Townsend and some really other cool bands. So. Uh, he's helping me out a lot because I manage the band, but, you know, he's he really helps me yeah, out a lot. Yeah. And, and, yeah, things are looking up. You know, we're just very happy that people like the record. Uh, we spent a lot of time working on it, and there's a lot of love and effort that's gone into it. So I'm just very happy that it's kind of going good, you know. Yeah, definitely. And, I mean, it kind of seems as though you've done so much already, and you've also been nominated for a Prog Award this year. Yeah, which is, I mean, that that is such such an honor. It must be, it must have been so fantastic to hear about it. Yeah, no, we're super. I, I'm I'm just, uh, you know, like it's just funny. Like when we just when we just made the record and we didn't even know that we didn't even we weren't even gonna make a band out of of the project. You know, we just thought like uh, Khaled came to record some stuff with me in my studio and and uh, then Barnaby got involved as well and. And then at the end of it, I was like, wow, let's just make a record out of this. And I said, oh, let's see if I can get it out on a label. And, <laughs> and uh, here we are, you know, it's kind of, yeah, uh, we're very, we're very, very happy, obviously, the way it's turned out. That, no, that's absolutely brilliant. I'm really, really glad that it has turned out so well. Um, and I mean, so now, um, now, it's, now it's obviously been so well received. Is this going to be something that you're trying to, going to try and carry on just as much as possible? Sorry, you're cracking up a little bit. Okay. Okay. And is this going to be something that you're going to carry on as much as possible? Do you really want to keep Messenger going as a, as a permanent project? Oh, yes, of course. I mean, uh, I I personally play in... Uh, I've got three other projects. Uh, yeah. but but, <laughs> but, uh, but Messenger is definitely my main thing. Uh, and, and, yeah, we are an ongoing band. And, and yeah, and we just, you know, we want to... To make it to like a you know like a very professional level band at some point you know and like play big shows and do nice big tours and stuff that's definitely keep making records you know we we just we're just really kind of mad about music and and we love playing together so we just we'll just keep on yeah. doing it I think. Oh, well, that's absolutely wonderful. And um, and of course, I mean you are you are kind of very very busy yourself. Um, but is Messenger definitely the main focus for you now? No, my main focus is always going to be my work as a producer um, uh, because that's, you know, that's what pays my bills and that's what I've been doing for the last 12, 13 years of my life, you know. And um, I'm not sure if you know much about my work as a producer, but I've, I've worked with bands, you know, I've produced the first Ghost album. I've done some stuff with uh, Ulver, Turisas, um, kind of lots of big names. Um, and that is always going to be my main focus, but you know, okay. mes- messenger, messenger is like right there next to it. You know that. Yeah, absolutely. It's my other kind of big project, really. 
business. I mean, if it got to the stage where Messenger was paying the bills and Messenger was providing um, all the income source that you need, I mean, would you still want to be doing as much of the producing? Is that where your heart really is? Yeah, because I'm a workaholic. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I need to, I'm this kind of guy that I, I, I basically have a small record label. I have my recording studio, my career as producer engineer. Um, I got Messenger, three other projects which are like pretty serious projects as well. Uh, actually, very serious projects, and I also teach in university sometimes. Um, <laughs> I'm just this kind of person that I, I I do a lot of stuff, and I and, and I moan a lot about it because I'm very busy. But, <laughs> but uh, I I just I just need to keep busy, so uh, I'll just keep doing everything I do, you know. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, I think that's the plan. No, that's what we like to hear. I mean, there's there's nothing better than being busy when it's work that you enjoy. Yeah, of course. No, there really isn't. Um, and so the next the next few months for Messenger, what do they hold? I mean, what are you planning on doing? Okay, so this month we are playing a Tramline Festival. Oh, fantastic. Which we're very excited about because yeah. I think it's a little bit, you know, we're not exactly a metal band, <laughs> and uh, but we've been playing like lots of kind of metal scene kind of shows. So it's going to be very interesting to see how... Um, like a completely different public uh, reacts to our yeah, performance. Definitely. So, so I'm very excited about that. And then in August, we have a beautiful base in Dorset, which is a really mm-hmm. nice festival. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after that, I think we, we, we're we going to have our own headline show in London. Oh, really? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, our own headline show. I think it's going to be at the Borderline in Soho. In London, and we'll probably sit a, a few days around it. So we're not playing like everywhere all the time. You know, we kind of the album came a little bit late to to book a lot of festivals during the summer mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. So and we're a new band, so I'm actually really really happy. You know that we even get to play things like Sunny Sphere and Tram Lines and yeah. gone through with Catatonia for you know which. <laughs> For me, that's more than good enough, you know. <laughs> Way no, more. definitely, definitely, and it's it's true. I think, I don't think to be honest, it's you know because you have such a reputation. Um, I mean, everybody could book you with confidence that you were going to put on a fantastic performance. I well, we 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 rehearse we, we <laughs> very hard, and and I take the band very seriously, yeah. and we all yeah. do in the band. So, so yeah, we always do the best we can for sure. Fantastic! No, it's, it's great to hear, um, and it, it's fantastic as well to hear that you you know you kind of love to get something else released next year. I think that would be that would be very exciting as well. Yeah, we're we 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 have to get working on it. But yeah, I, that's, that's the plan, and I'm sure it'll it'll happen. Wonderful. Well, thank you so so much for taking the time to uh, chat to us today. Um, oh, thank you. It's been, no, it's been a real real pleasure, and I have no doubt that we're going to see a lot more of you on the scene um, very soon. Yeah, I hope so. And once again, I apologize for not being able to catch oh, up with you during the festival. All. I know just how these things happen. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty difficult for us. But, yeah. You know, but, yeah. Uh, well, but we've done it now, and that's the important thing. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much for, uh, you know, for, for, for keeping us in mind and for liking the record and for supporting us. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. It's been, it's been a huge pleasure, and I really, really hope that I get to catch you, catch you live at some point soon. Sure. Anytime, you know, just, yeah. Let us know. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Thank you very much.